What is up guys and girls, Hurricane Liz here and in today's video we're going to break down the exact process or the simple process that you can use to do keyword research when you're actually creating a brand new book and or creating a PPC campaign and I'm also going to in a future video show and compare for you a quicker and more effective way to actually do this but for now we're going to go ahead and rely on the old fashioned way and we are going to use a couple tools so you guys better be ready so I'm certainly fired up even though this is my least favorite part of the whole process so I hope you're somewhat fired up but let's go ahead and do this all right so the actual book that I'm going to be putting up here is a book that I made so it's obviously going to be a disaster however with that being said let's go to make this a beautiful disaster by showing you what the actual premise of the book is and then showing you how I would do the quick and dirty way of keyword research in order to get this puppy on the road and yeah that pun was totally intended so here we go let's go to see what the actual book is so first and foremost the biggest thing is it is a pug planner book and it's basically a themed a planner a daily planner for people that love pugs so it's aimed at pug lovers and so most people obviously we're going to pick the pug planning keyword as the main keyword but there are a couple other keywords that came up on my radar when doing research so the preliminary thing that I did is I just jotted down what keywords that I would think a person that loves pugs and that would use this actual product would be searching for the top one being pug planner uh, the other one could be pug journal but I don't really think that but the other one is maybe pug gifts or gift for pug lovers something of that nature so what I'm going to do is I'm going to search start by searching all three keywords and taking a look at and downloading what ASINs sell well and the way that I'm going to do that is by using this helium 10 free extension what you can get is x-ray which is Amazon product research so you can download that at helium 10 and there is a link below in my description box for helium 10 now remember when you do buy through that link I do get an affiliate commission and of course that goes to support the funny videos that I make or at least the funny videos that I think I make on this channel so let's go to see what pops up so I'm going to go in and put the first one which would be pug planner right and I actually already did this ahead of time and let me show you guys kind of what I get once I get everything said and done I get this report with all this information and I'll show you how to download the report right now when I do the same search for pug gifts but let's first take a look at this report and then I'll explain why I actually highlighted what I did so for this particular actual report I searched pug planner and here's what popped up I sorted these by the highest number of sales and I specifically looked through each and every title and made sure that the word pug was in there so out of the ones where it did have pugs and out of the ones that had sales you can see the sales are right here I highlighted those and wanted the top 10 in the pug planning keyword field whatever you want to call it and then I highlighted them and that's important because in a minute I'm going to use these ASINs and toss them into another tool inside of helium 10 to show you what I'm trying to do and get a gist of what are the top five or the top 10 keywords in this particular niche so I got those for pug planner let's go ahead and do it for pug gifts so when I put in pug gifts one thing that I noticed immediately as I was typing it is that if you have the extension keywords everywhere which you should pug gifts for pug lovers is pops up pretty quickly so you can see there's very low volume here's pug gift ideas which is interesting but I'm gonna go in and hit pug gifts and hit enter and we're gonna see which ASINs pop up and as they start to populate here we'll start to see some data on there as in terms of what's selling like we'll see this 46,500 in home and kitchen so again we're gonna use helium 10 product x-ray and once it's ready to go I just let it light up and then I hit the x-ray and it's gonna go out and do its thing it's gonna come back with its magic and it's gonna give me all the top selling ASINs and their information moments later all right so that wasn't very fast because I was actually able to run to the kitchen make this drink and suck down half of it which takes a while so let's see what we have here but it's quite a bit of uh, decent revenue so give me all this information and the quick and dirty way to do this is we could do a couple things so we see that all these are generating sales I could ask it to actually load more results but I think this is gonna be enough and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this little button down here and download this as a CSV file and this is what it's gonna give us so all this information so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just go ahead and take a look at this and see if I can find the ones that are actually really relevant to pug lovers right so I can do that in one of two ways I can either decide to filter this all out by highlighting the whole thing and then clicking on the sort and filter thing and hitting filter and now I can filter these things out and or I can also go on over here to sales now and click this thing and then sort it by descending so it'll show me from the highest number of sales to the lowest number but this could give us a lot of skewed data since a lot of these are actually getting a ton of sales so let's go in and just pick out the ones that we think are the most relevant by looking at them 
uh, visually and then figuring out which ones we think. So let's see here, Th this is actually great. This will pop up the actual product. So this is definitely relevant. It's a pug gift for pug lovers. And this gift card is not. So even though it's a cute pug, these pajamas are, this Pugopoly is, this is too. So quite a few of them right out of the gate here are all pretty relevant. So I think I'm just gonna take all these top 11 minus this pug gift card, although that's very adorably cute and that does look like a pug tato. I'm not going to pay attention to that pug tato, despite the fact that I want to bite it. I'm going to go in and look at the top 11 ASINs and grab them off the report or the CSV that I already have. And this is why it's really important. So I've already done this part for the pug planner and let me show you what happens on the next step. So for the next step, we will need to go over to Cerebro and you're going to notice that it's already been done for the pug planner. So I'm going to put all those ASINs into Cerebro and then I'm going to hit get keywords. And again, this was done for pug planner and here's what ended up happening. So what I want to do is I want to pay attention to the top 10 to 20 keywords and I'm going to think, all right, does this, does any of this relate to my product? And these will be the product keywords that I actually use. So what ended up happening is on this pug planner and end up figuring out that pug calendar is also very relevant, which I would have never thought that. I mean, a lot of you guys that are more seasoned might have, but I would grab these 20 keywords and potentially grab them and use those somehow in my listing and see how well they do. Now, the whole point of this exercise is to show you in the next video the data that I get when I introduce PFR to this exercise and we want to see if it matches up with this. So if you haven't seen part one of this video series, I do recommend you watch that. I will link it below because it's that important. So I've got about 20 keywords and I can add these keywords to my list. So I'm going to go ahead and add these to a list and I'm going to go ahead and call it pugs, right? So I'm going to call this pugs. I'm going to create this new list. I'm going to add it to folder pugs. It's created. And uh, let's see, pugs, here we are, save it. And now this should be added to it. So folder created, add keywords to my list and they should be added, boom, into the pugs folder. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the report that I just downloaded and I'm gonna grab the first, in this case, it's all except for the gift card. So I'm just gonna delete that puppy and then I'm gonna get or the top 10 ASINs. All right, so these are the top 10 ASINs. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish those off right there and I'm gonna hit get keywords. Now these are the gift ASINs, right? So it's going to go ahead and do its magic. And once it's done, it's going to come back and bring me some more keywords that are all related to pug gifts. Moments later. And I'm back and that took forever because again, I almost finished this thing while I stood there and waited. So, okay, let's see what we got. What we have here are some very good keywords. And again, I would grab all these, like maybe the 20 or until they stop making sense, right? So like, here's a great one, pug gifts for women, stuff for pugs, I don't know about that. I don't know about pug stuff or cheap pug stuff or giant pug, but I'm just gonna grab the top 20, just kind of how we did earlier. We grabbed the top 20 earlier and we're gonna look at that and we're gonna compare it later, but we're gonna just grab these. We're gonna look at them and we're gonna think about them. And then when we create our actual campaigns or our listings, we're gonna want to eliminate the ones that we don't think are relevant to our stuff. But I find that one of the most underutilized type of keywords out there are gifts or the ones that include gifts or presents or things of that nature. Now we could go deeper into the gift thing, but I don't think that's quite as important. Amazon own algorithm with PPC will identify some additional keywords for us. And there's a lot of other ways that we could collect keywords. I think it's important to just start a campaign with at least some of the keywords that we think are most relevant as well as some of the gifting keywords. So these are the ones that I'm gonna go with. I grab these and I'm gonna add these keywords to the list, which was pugs earlier. So now we should have a total amount of something around 41 or so keywords that we can actually start with. So now we got our batch of keywords. We're ready to start our either campaign or optimize our listing. But first let's take a look at that list of keywords. And I think we can do that by going here to my list and then keywords and then pugs. You'll notice that we've got our 40 right here. So let's click on that and take a look at it and we can see what they are. So we've got black pug calendar. So obviously if my pug calendar or pug planner had that, I would keep that calendar pugs. Uh, I, so far I think it's okay. Like cheap pug stuff I think is okay. But I mean like this one right here, dash on calendar of uh, we're, we're not dealing with weenie dogs here. So we're going to trash that guy right there. Toss him straight in the trash or stick him in some hot dog buns and add some mustard to him. Cause that, that thing is delicious. All right, let's see what else we got. Um, so, something like dog calendar 2020 wall is gonna get deleted also. And I'm gonna leave Doug the pug only because he's kind of like a pug influencer as well as fantasy pug calendar because I'm guessing that's kind of like just a joke. Uh, one other one that I'm questionable about is pug accessories because my, my guess on that is it's for p pugs. Like I guess like necklaces and shit like that. You can obviously tell at the present time I don't have a dog because I'm calling them dog necklaces. I, I don't think they're even called that. So pug dog gifts, pug dog. 
pug gift pug lovers. I think everything else looks okay. Uh, I don't know about pug pack. I'm gonna take that off and everything is fine. Real pug is fine. And so now what I'm gonna do is delete those and now I'm left with these 30 some keywords and those are the keywords that I'm gonna primarily focus on when I start a campaign. But that's pretty much the quick and dirty process to grab this group of keywords. Now again, going back to when we're running the report, there's no said point in time that we stopped. I just clipped it at 20 for sake of the actual length of the video, but keep going until they're irrelevant. So once you start seeing some irrelevancy, stop right there and then start going through the words one by one and taking out the ones that are totally irrelevant, however, still in kind of the top 20. So most of these have decent volume, as you can tell, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare the list that I came up with in the next video with the actual list that has the PFR and the actual keywords that drive real sales and that's pretty exciting if you ask me i hope you're excited about that but other than that put your questions and our comments below i always personally answer them and i will see you all in the next video